Well, according to USA Today, the Summit League Tournament, which tips off tomorrow at the Denny Sanford Premier Center, is March's best kept secret. Through its nine years in Sioux Falls, the men's and women's Summit League tournaments have produced record attendance every year. And this year promises to keep that streak going. And Tom Dupel, who is the Summit League Commissioner, is here to tell us about this year's event. And he's joined by a regular here on uh, Kelloland Living, our own sports director, <laughs> Travis Fossing, who will be part of the team covering the action this weekend for Kello Sports. So, guys, thanks for being here. So, Thank you. Tom, I thought about interviewing you today, and I started thinking about if I was in your shoes, I would probably say that I was probably the most blessed, lucky man in the world that I have this job that the Summit League happened, the tournament happened when it did, with SDSU and USD transitioning to D1, uh, the, the hunger we have for big time sports in South Dakota, the growth of the Danny, the building of the Danny, uh, and here you are today having one of the premier college, uh, uh, college basketball tournaments when it comes to March Madness. So how lucky do you feel every day? <laughs> Very <laughs> lucky, let me tell you. This is our 10th year and, and uh, it, it's just been a great run for us. And as you mentioned, you know, we started out in the Sioux Falls uh, uh, Arena and then we came into the Premier Center. You know, our tournament has just increased and in, uh, uh, in attendance, what we're trying to do in sponsorship and of course the media coverage. And, and you know, Keller's been with us from the very get-go as a major sponsor. And that's how our tournament's grown. Y'all have been able to really help us get the word out uh, throughout the region and to our uh, customers. And we're partnered, you know, with that and, you know, we're really pleased. Is it, can you, I mean, it looks to be too obvious of a question to ask what you believe the success has been. Has it just been the hunger because of the local teams doing well? Well, I think it's a whole combination. Uh, again, we start with the media coverage has been fantastic. You know, the fans here are very passionate. No matter if you're SDSU or USD, there's a lot of good Division One basketball fans that came out. You take last year's women's final. We had Western Illinois and IUPUI, and there's still thousands of fans in the stands. And they weren't tied into either school. They just like to see good Division One basketball. Uh, so I think there's a combination of, of all. Of course, March, you know, the March match. And this is everyone's basketball focused right now, uh, and the community just has really, really supported us. And Travis, your end of it on the coverage piece of it and whatnot. I mean, your job. Uh, how fun is it to be uh, a sports director to have the uh, the the talent that we have here, the games, the things to talk about. Talk about what Kello's coverage is going to look like uh, this during the tournament. Yeah, it's busy, busy, busy from start to finish, but it, it's so much fun. You go out there and. We're going to be shooting every game. Doesn't matter if it's a South Dakota school or one of the visiting schools. We'll have highlights. We'll have post game coverage from all of the South Dakota, South Dakota State, and even the NDSU games as well. We'll have some live streaming of the post game press conferences. We've got the bracket page that uh, runs through all the brackets, and, and folks are able to send in pictures as well. If you're out at the games, please take pictures, send them to you share at kelloland.com, and uh, share your experience with the folks here in Kelloland. And so, thanks, and so Tom, one of the other things that we're doing, we're trying to get, if fans aren't engaged in going to the games and don't have a team they want to follow, you've got you created Fan Fest a year right. or two ago. Talk about what that is. Well, we're really pleased. We want it more than just basketball. We want it to be a, an experience for, for the community. And so we established Fan Fest last year. We had over 4,000 that came out. We expect more to attend. Uh, you can come out with your little kids can shoot, you know, papa shots and tykes can shoot in the basket. We can cut down the net. Uh, you can take pictures with our championship trophy. Uh, the mascots are going to be there. And then, of course, the bands and cheerleaders perform for every team. It, it's just really uh, taken off. And this year, uh, is new to it, uh, we're going to have a bracket out front in the arena uh, where you come in and, you know, actually will be able to touch this big, huge bracket that we've built. So uh, we're, we're trying to do more things and uh, just give back to folks. And you don't have to come to the games. We'd love for you to have go. But this is something something that they can come and it's free. And Travis, uh, the, uh, the USD women are the top seed on that, on that side are. of the bracket. Yep. The SDSU men are the top seed, mm -hmm. but they're one and two 
both men and women on both sides of it. So that's got to add a different uh, <laughs> twist to the whole tournament. And it means a very busy Saturday for us because all four of those teams will be playing on Saturday. USD will start the action against Fort Wayne at noon on the women's side. That'll be followed by SDSU and NDSU at 2.30 with the women. And then the men, looking at my bracket, <laughs> SDSU, the number one seed, 6 o'clock against Western Illinois. And then South Dakota men taking on Omaha in the late game at 8.30. So all four of those teams. But, yeah, 1-2 one, and 1-2 one, and and uh, should be an interesting tournament. <laughs> Are you going to go out on a limb and pick one? Are you going to pick a winner? <laughs> no, but Come on. I, I, you know, I would be surprised <laughs> if it wasn't USD, SDSU in both the men and women's final. But as Tom has uh, mentioned in press conferences and just in interviews, uh, yeah. there's always upsets at the Summit yeah. League tournament. So we'll see how... It plays out between Saturday and Tuesday. Tom, is there one thing that fans should look for this year that may be different, or if they're going to, if a ticket holder is going to go to the game, is there one thing they shouldn't miss? Well, uh, I think we tweaked the Fan Fest uh, access. You're able to go to the game, and with, you'll get stamped and go back out. You're able to re-entry this year, gotcha. and so that's new for us, and and that's uh, customer oriented that you'll be able to go. Uh, enjoy it, but I, I think the games will speak for themselves. Uh, it's always exciting to see the student athletes. You know, they're they're diving for that ball a little bit more harder yeah. than they have. You know, during the season, everything's on the line. Yeah, it's just an exciting time for us. Yeah, it is, and it's uh, it is super exciting. And so, thanks for all you've done for the city, and congratulations on the 10 years in Sioux Falls. Well, thank you. And again, I can't tell you. You know, y'all's support just means so much to, to the tournament, and I hope you're as proud of it as, as we are. I think everybody is. So, guys, thanks for being here. So, you, you can follow Kelloland Sports coverage of the Summit League action by checking out the Summit League page at kelloland.com.